my god i started stream two minutes ago and you're saying i'm late and it's not even that late because i just start stream anywhere between 11 and 12 so i'm actually on time <laughs> huh not even late I see how it is. Uh, yeah. Mental refreshed. Took a day off. Didn't touch Stardew. Uh, we're time to go back. <laughs> oh, I love how my camera froze. We're time to go back into the mines and slowly lose our sanity again. Because <laughs> we back in the mines. And I keep it hopelessly addicted to this fucking category a new color it is purple it do be purple I don't know why you want me to comment on a new color when it's just free to change and you can change it to basically whatever color you want whenever you want. Not like it's a life commitment here. Carrots are right. How do you spam click so <laughs> It's always interesting to... Sometimes the question about how do you animation cancel is so interesting because it's just people assuming that I'm clicking fast sometimes. to reset each stream it would be somewhat annoying we should just have a counter for every time somebody asks about animation canceling It's a really barren bus stop now that I think about it. It had a single leak and that was it. I mean, a two leak day is actually like kind of average. I guess I'm not really complaining that much about it. But it, it does feel like there's a lack of food. How do you zoom out so much? That is based off your monitor res, and I have a 2K monitor. So, I can zoom out much farther than normal. I normally don't play on this much zoom out when I'm playing, like, remotely casually or just, like, whatever, but it's, like, it, it's a strict advantage in speedrunning. So, there's no reason for me not to. There's ways to trick the game into thinking you have a... 4K res without actually having a 4K monitor, by the way. So, it's technically not... Uh... Hardware advantage, but...
Yeah, like when I'm doing perfection runs, I don't like to be this zoomed out. It's kind of... Hard to see some things. Probably should have gone left. Oh. You know, I was thinking I should block. Wow, this guy is just launching. Just everywhere. McLovin, McLovin, thank you for the tier one. I'm yawning too much today. Realistically, I should be on about floor 15 right now, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Opie. I think this club is going to make up for this pace. Like, I should legit be on floor, like, 18 right now. I'm seven floors behind normal pace. Welcome in. I don't really do any more money challenge runs these days. They just take too long. But, yeah. They take too long, and to do them right, they're really degenerate. So, they're not much fun anymore. What do you mean, degenerate? If you enjoy looking at the pause screen 90% of the run, then uh, you'll enjoy them. Because you're better off just pause buffering every single action that you do. Generacy. Like, if you... If you see me... Do elevator strats. So, when I, like... Basically, am, like, continuously pausing during the elevator to kill dust sprites or whatever. I, I assume that I did that in the 50 mil. I don't remember how much. Basically, that the entire time is how you would optimally play. Chop down a tree, pause. Shit like that.
There might be a freebie on this floor. For 50. That sucks. I mean, there's always the argument, or you can just, like, not do that and put it against your rule set. And it's like, yeah, I could. But it's like, if I'm going to do a 100 mil run, I'm going to... I, I'm going to want to do it right, or quote-unquote right. And that's going to be involved, which I just don't care to do. And then day resetting for literal weeks to just get through one day. I mean, salmonberry season's a thing. I use my first 15 parsnips. Uh, make sure you go on good luck days. You can literally use any forge that you get. Don't bother selling the forge. Better off used for money. Or, it's better off used for food in the mines. Uh, that's gonna leave. Or 17 coal. I think as long as you get one of the coal carts on either uh, 28 or uh, 8, floor 8 or 28, like you're cooking. I mean, ideally you get both, but sometimes the ladder just isn't quite right. So you're better off skipping. We have cave carrots for five floors. We got this, right, chat? Okay, uh, didn't get launched the way that I wanted him to. actually uh sit up because this run is going better than i thought it would i'm just gonna bomb this floor actually oh oh fuck you too game i'll take all that i didn't even get a ladder from that it's the funnier bit Unfortunately. Uh, I'm actually kind of down the cherry bomb. Yes. Probably a freebie at the bottom. That works too, I guess. A little, ended up being a little slow, but... Still made it.
Oh, we got 11. Nice. Missing three copper. Funny, it looks average. Uh, need at least three coal, though. <sighs> need at least three more coal. Ideally, uh, ten. Three copper, uh, fifty-nine iron. Yeah, fifty-nine. 17 quartz. I didn't realize I picked up 17 quartz throughout that day. We are indeed de gaming, but you will not see animations. Rigid. I said you will not. <laughs> and say you will. You suck, yeah. <laughs> Good iron. Okay, good on copper. Ladder. A bit of coal, this will do. Money's looking pretty good, just need to pick up uh let's say frozen tier and frozen geode. Probably kill these guys. A little bit more coal. with that crate. We're pretty good on money. I'm more focused on getting 45 at this point. Probably just gonna end up being a bunch of floor resets until I get to 45 here soon. Again, good on money. Not gonna walk all the way down. Oh, champ. On game, I just need a uh, I just need a freebie on 42 so I can get the 45 without feeling too bad. Oh, I thought that was the aqua spot. No, it was down one. And we have a few quarks. Almost at iron. We really are just missing the the ladders, which kind of sucks. Ah. It's been a while since I've It taken longer to get the 45 than to get the iron. There we go. Uh, and we got the... Actually, is this the aqua or is this the frozen geode on this side? I think it's the... Oh, it is the geode. That sucks. We'll get Aqua later. Uh, we are just not gonna get a freebie ladder, I guess.
This kind of sucks. We could add a really good pace today. Money's not the greatest, so I will probably end up just selling. Have to make sure. Maybe. Thank you for the four years. I hope the kids aren't being that rowdy today. Three classes after this, so we'll see. Yeah. Uh. You missing three. Seeds then over it. I'm not gonna have a good time with the debris today, I can already tell. Hopefully this doesn't exhaust me. Uh, all I need, and then we'll get this one. That. That up. That up. I mean, it's future-proofing later, so...
surprised I haven't reset this. I'm only 10 seconds behind. I don't need like a, I don't need a 20 minute mines. Ideally, it's less than 21, but I had a good I or day one and a good iron for or like iron gathering. The only issue with this run so far is it took me so much longer to get to uh floor 45 than it should have should have. Like, if I got to floor 45 when I was getting iron, it probably would have been close to a sub-20 mines. Like, the main disappointing part. Let's switch my pickaxe there. And it's like, I've got a one rain day in spring. If I get two, we're kind of fine. I also have a bunch of extra iron and uh, coal for day three of the mines to make that go quicker. Because I have uh, 16 bars melted, so I only need 35 iron. Unfortunately. Looks to be a uh, one rain day spring, which sucks. I'm here because of that, but whatever. Yeah, that's about right for time lost for not having uh, two rain days. Debris was going to be a little bit of a problem on this day, but I didn't expect it to be this annoying. Oh. Gonna be late because of it at the very least, and we got some extra wood.
The speed run's going okay. It's not the greatest run in the world, but it's not terrible. Realistically, just so far, uh, one rain day in spring lost me like 25 seconds. That's like RNG, whatever. Can't really do much about that. One rain day is technically below average, but it's like the average is like 1.6, 1.7 rain days in the spring water time. So it's like most of the time you get one or two. Literally. dedicated e. my menu is a little off because I haven't been here in a while been to this part of the run in a hot minute stuck in the mines Now we're praying that we get two random rain days in summer here for the wheat to grow up. We need four rain days in total for the wheat to grow up without sprinklers, and that's what we're hoping for. Uh, and we are guaranteed thunderstorm days on the 13th and the 26th of summer. So we are literally just waiting for... Uh... There, we just need two random rain days. That is not the 13th and the 26th. It is also more likely to rain at the end of summer than the beginning by like quite a bit. It's like double the percentage. So, early rain days is very good because that means we uh, got a roll on a lower percent than when it would be a higher percent. Rain day number one. Fortunate, ever got a rain day yet? Never got a natural rain day, I should say. Those blueberries will stay on the ground. I can pick them up on the next time I go out. Day number two, to be up. Just need one more natural rain day. No, I have not. Do you find a way to consistently do it or something? I mean... 
Yeah, I would I would agree it's not too hard because I semi consistently do it at the very least. Without even a setup, but then the setup is just some sort of key combination. Alright, well, let's see how 50 goes today. We'll see together on a three frame window. Well, I guess that would make sense. Ooh. Oh, this looks real bad. It's not worth a ladder because that would cripple my money later on. Oh god, this is so impressive. Holy shit. I mean, I guess we're just going to have the coal replace the iron by... We only need to get... I did not need to pick that up. You can just count this as like a really shit floor, I guess. Yeah, this dust sprite really just did that to me. Uh, I need an aqua still, ideally. I'll run without it, but I do need an aqua. I said I didn't even get that much coal for that. Need one more bat wing. And we'll get it on the next few floors, it's fine. Uh, those generally never have anything in it, so. Poppy bean, crystal fruit, and I mean, I guess I can get the crystal fruit. Bat wings, Glint, thank you for the resub. I went to a revolving sushi bar yesterday and it was super good wide people happy. Nice. That's good. That was only two hits. I didn't let him get close enough to me. That's my bad. I love losing the fucking 0.5%. Actually, bullshit that that has happened like twice in the last five or six ghosts that I've killed. It's unnecessary, but no aqua. Get it later, I guess. Kopi. Rather just continue around them and reset because of it. No, oh, there's a sweet pea all the way down there if I want it. God damn. Do I want to risk? Probably not. I 
I don't know if that one, oh, well, that one's arguably the closest, but. Me here. After. This one is really bad. atrocious. I hate doing fucking animation cancels in there. No video feedback. Harvest the hot pepper anymore. I'll need another rain to Ah shit. Ah whatever. I'm up a I'm up a smelt. I'm resetting if I don't get a rain day here. This fucking sucks. I should really just reset though. I ain't watering. Good warm up. I'm going to the bathroom. Go to Rod. I just didn't want to deal with watering. Mine's day three was a little slow for the... Uh, well, I mean, it was actually just slow because the ghost just absolutely cucked me. Losing a 95.5% uh, chance. Uh, losing me, what, like a minute? Yeah, that monster floor was also horrendous. If it rained four times, it still would have been acceptable is the funny part. I wouldn't have lost... I wouldn't have technically lost time.
it wasn't that slow overall. Where's the time save? Well, it's throughout because I compared to balanced, but uh, I have about a minute and a half to fall fish. I got a 6 p.m. eel. Uh, 6 p.m. eel. Tuna's 10 a.m., so I wouldn't consider tuna as a time save. I had to get sunfish on summer or on in spring, so there's about 30 seconds there. I think I did get it first try, but it's still about uh, like 15, 20 seconds for the cast that I wouldn't normally have to wait. Um, Tuna went fine. I missed sturgeon twice. Like, summer fish could have been probably about a minute faster. Uh, Mine's day... Theoretically, mine's day one. I can save about a minute. I never put the TV back down. Because I got a 21-minute mines, and it's like you can get 20 minutes. Right. I mean, technically, you can get almost 18-minute mines, but not realistic. Uh, after that, animals went perfect. Uh, and then the just the tree mishap at the end. How many more minute barriers do you think I can make? Uh, I think if I played the if I played my PB flawlessly, it probably could could have been like a 2.13 two or yeah, a two thirteen maybe a high 212 if i get perfect rng that run would have been sub two well, i mean like if i didn't get screwed on fishing it probably would have been a sub 210 with playing good and when i say screwed on fishing i mainly just mean eel realistically sub 210 is possible Sub two, sub two hours is not currently. Will I break it before 1.6 comes out? No, but I don't really care. I'll just continue going until 1.6 comes out. I think sub 210 is re re reasonably feasible to a degree. Obviously, like. Just have RNG go your way, forehead. But it's like, if I play well and I get above uh, average RNG and everything, yeah, I could probably sub 210. Yeah, but I mean, obviously I'm not, RNG is not going to go perfect. I don't think I'll sub 210. If I get another PB and it's like a decent run with no hiccups, like I'll I'll 212. I think. I think I'll 212. I already posted my last PB. I don't know if I'll post a, another PB up so soon because generally it takes away from the last PB. So it's not really beneficial for me to do it, but it's like. Uh, yeah. If I get another PB, I might just review it and put up like a quote unquote guide video to Community Center. But it's like at the same time, that's kind of like not a good idea because 1.6 people would be more curious about the route of 1.6 when it comes out more so than the route of 1.5 it would just be unfortunate timing I wish I could animation cancel right now Uh, yes.
I don't think any god tier run should ever have to go year three because you really fucked up if uh you go past winter. The only thing that you should ever need in winter year two is uh crystal fruit or crocus. And then uh uh Nautilus shell if you don't get mail. No run should ever go year three with this route. Arguably. Because if you have, if you get two Demetrius male gifts, you shouldn't even need to go to winter unless if animals really screw you. But at that point, the run's not god tier because basically every day extra that you have to deal with animals is like 20 seconds time loss and... If you go to the end of winter, you probably lost three minutes to animals. I mean, the run's just dead at that point, realistically. You lose a minute to the grandpa cutscene, and then, like, another minute to sleeping or some bullshit. Actually, it's not even a minute. You lose, like, 30 seconds to sleeping. So the run's just dead. It'd have to be some absolutely unholy run. Do you, see, do you say beach warp? Yeah, probably. I mean, as long as the item's not on your farm. <laughs> That'd be funny as hell. You would only have one day to go out for it. I guess, I mean, you can, uh... We don't use remix bundles in, in this run in particular. I know Piano's trying to route it. But I don't know how I don't know how reasonable getting the bundles are and how much faster it gets without perfect bundles. Uh but yeah, the main reason the newer patches is faster is solely because of uh keybinds. There's so many more hotkey keybinds that you can abuse. We can buy 25 at a time, which makes uh, our winter buying where we buy like 2000 wood. And, or almost 3,000 wood and a uh, 1,000 stone much faster. Yeah, and you can also move bed. Remix mine rewards are is also really powerful as well, yes. I don't know why I chose to broke that one instead of the one above it. And it would have just checked the same. There's a freebie bottom left. I just checked the same bunch. How many of these do I break? Is that on a bad line? No, it's not a good line. Remix bundles was also 1.4 anyway, so it wasn't a 1.5 feature. Of a early club. I wish I could pick that or take that. I hate when I get ladders at the start of floor twelve because it's like, oh, but I gotta go to the end. Like you're you're griefing if you don't go to the end here. We did not have advanced settings on one point four, but we had remix bundles on one point four. I thought was remix bundles really a one point five thing? Now that I think about it, I thought it was a 1.4 thing. No, you know what? It was missing bundle. I thought they added. I thought he added remix bundles when he added the missing bundle, but 1.4 was just missing bundle. You're all right. The patches 
mixed through my head. There's too many. Rip 50G. Rip this run. I'll continue it just because I have a club. And it should make this not as bad, but... Tempted to break that rock just because there wasn't money on the floor. But... get a copper note on dirt I always just hope that I get a dirt ladder since they're not common this just sucks to see because that it's like this is 40 gold later on which can make a difference I hate not having a magnet ring because you always miss I, I always miss so much stone you want to get to the next floor but Backtracking feels so bad. Now we're probably gonna have to get the cold card on 28. At least I didn't get a monster floor on 18 here. Would've been bad. Escape mines? Are you doing basically the same mines as me and Cord, but without copper gathering in day two? I don't know what your mines looks like. Probably less than 20. Quite honest. I'm surprised I actually picked up that emerald first out of all of those. but it depends on what you're willing to take. Also, some days are just better than others for whatever reason. It's like, if you look at the amount of times I got out of mines leading up to my PB, I basically got out of mines like at a 70% rate, like the last 10 runs before my PB. And then basically after my PB, I've had like a less than 10% out of mines rate. So it's like... <laughs> not really 
explainable sometimes. What do you mean the split stats? No, I can't see the number of uh, attempts that fail at a given point now. I can just tell you the total number of finished and the total number started. I don't have stats that can specifically see what splits I stop at the most. sword. Uh, this might be a little torturous. Which is the femur. And then if this pace stays, this run should be fine. Yeah, but that's just anywhere. That counts a lot of runs where, like, you, you just see the timer starts at the main menu. That, that thing just counts that as well. So whenever the timer just false starts at the main menu, that is added to that number. Like, the actual, like, that count is, like... So inaccurate at this point. Like that, the timer does at least like four to five false starts a stream. Yeah. And then, I mean, you have the runs where I just rage quit in the first, like, 30 seconds to day one. <laughs> Has nothing to do with RNG. I mean, that's just... Player encompassy. Not saying the runs are good to finish at a fast pace, but... Pace kind of died. Ain't gonna lie. Get three D. Griefing myself. Let's get three D. I was correct. Yep, mine stay two goes. I guess. This can be played. Yeah, probably.
kind of hope I get only bad luck days from here until the 13th so I can like cope reset this. Three more quartz minimum. Three more quartz, three more uh full minimum. I'd like to keep this leak as well. So that goes. We're already behind about a minute on day one. Day two needs to be good even function. How do I think 1.6 will ch change speed running strategies? I don't know. I would have to play the patch to know that. I mean, it would be the same as any other patch. If something is absolutely broken, then it would speed it up. If not, nothing. It will likely just slow it down because, for generally speaking, each patch has always added new cutscenes, which is, on average, losing the route, like, about 20 seconds each patch because of these cutscenes. But not only would the new patch need to have a way that is faster, uh, something faster, uh, yeah, I mean, it would just have to ha add something faster for it to even be a faster patch. People are very used to the fact that we're running Community Center on current patch because of the uh, hotkeys, mainly. Uh, the hotkey uh, additions speed up the game a lot for what we do, and it counteracts the basically guaranteed extra like three or four cutscenes that we get, which waste over 20 seconds. So... If 1.6 doesn't add something like that, we're going to be running on 1.5. There's no, CA is not the only person working on the game anymore. CA has a team. He's had a team since 1.5. Since of 1.5, it hasn't been a solo developed game. 1.5 was put out uh, by a team. He didn't do a majority of the coding for 1.5. That was a team. He does the game design and all the art and music, but uh, he does it with the team. I think he has like two or three people helping him now.
GTA is relatively smart for not keeping it a solo development or solo developed game with how big it is. There's no reason to. It's already notorious enough for the game to be known as uh, developed by one person, but at like this point, it doesn't really matter. That developed by one person or not. And he understands his faults. He knows that uh, coding-wise, he didn't do Stardew the best because it, he was literally originally doing it just to uh, have something on his like resume, right? Literally, just him practicing. He hired true professionals. People who actually code for a living. And if it works, it works. Don't get me wrong, but... Smart man. That's what he needed to do. He got a team. Knowing CA, they'll probably release it on full release, similar to Gardu, and then give it updates over time. I extremely doubt uh, CA will release something in early access. He is not the type of person to do that. I'm sure he'll continue adding to the game after he releases it, but... He'll make sure the game is fun first and like to a good finish or to a finish point where he's kind of just adding like stuff that, you know, you kind of need thousands, hundreds of thousands of people playing to uh, truly find like the issues or the flaws in the game. I love how I block that, but I still take damage. The block on the sword is so fucking dog shit. a geode from a rock and there's no way to check if there's a freebie. This is so sad. Mistake going this way. Barely just going away from all the rocks. Lovely floor seven. on floor 8. The loop of shame. Uh, no, but there's multiple people who have enough points. Actually, one of them almost has enough points to reset it twice if they wanted to. But no one just uses it because the people who have that many points are hoarders and don't spend a single point whatsoever. They're also the people who've been watching for three to four years.
Sub two hours is not possible with the current route. No. Perfection runs, I'll quote from some of them, perfection runs literally are not long enough runs for them to justify doing it. There are a task, just look up Stardew Valley tasks, underscore has done quite a few of them. They use different routes than communities, or than we do, obviously. Tasks can exploit a lot of RNG manipulations that we don't normally can. Why bother getting resources for sprinklers when you can just have it rain every single day instead? You know? Just get the ladder first try every time as well when you're at it. Just go 120 floors in the first day. Nah, I, I'm not really interested in segmented speedruns now. Uh, not a lot. Blindfolded is not as easy as just loading it up and then blindly walking. <laughs> if you want to see an example of that, I'm pretty sure there is a huge drama case of uh, that happening recently. Where some Monster Hunter girl decided that uh, she's done this boss fight so much that she can do it blindfolded. And then proceeded to do it blindfolded basically first try and people fucking called her out because she didn't do any normalization which is required for blindfolded speedrunning. And uh, guess what? Yeah, she was found out to be cheated. It was found out to be cheated. She was just looking under her fucking blindfold. Wow, it's crazy. Crazy how that works. I have done the run blindfolded and I have a YouTube video on it. I did, cr I did seated uh, crafts room. I've done seated crafts room, blindfolded. And the reason you can do seated is because everything is consistent. I had to make a lot of normalized path and movement, so you'll see like really odd movement to get to places. But that was just so I could hold down one direction for X amount of time and not have to be completely accurate, run into a wall, stop moving, and then just go a different direction. And yes, you actually get to see me get lost in the community center at one point. <laughs> I also screwed up the menuing at one point. I had to use a controller for the menuing because I needed it to lock on. So you'll see me running on keyboard and mouse to have the analog movement of the keyboard and mouse. And then when I go into a... When I would go into a menu, I would switch to uh, the controller so I can normalize the, the inventorying. Actually a very interesting run. I find it funny because I think when on the rewatch, it, it I look really fucking sus because you know I just said uh, uh, the one person was just like peeking under a blindfold. My head was just naturally going in like a position like this, so it kind of looked like I was trying to look under my my blindfold. But it's like no, I had like a real blindfold on, like ones one that people use for sleeping. Like I could not see a thing. And that was just because, like, I don't know, my head was just in a weird spot. 
I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it was like I was falling asleep. It was kind of funny. So it's like, if people don't want to believe it, people don't have to believe it. I did it for myself, and it was fun as hell. Yeah, a lot of geodes, but that generally means I'm breaking a lot of rocks. But to be honest, base isn't terrible, so I'm not breaking that many rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the badge image on my Twitch is... that That's the blindfold, and that, that was actually me, like, my head just backwards. It's kind of interesting. E. I mean, you can like... You can, you can see that it was like I was normalizing everything. And what I mean by normalizing is like I can hold down A or like I basically hold down like D until I hit a wall and then I hold down up until I hit a wall. And it's like you can't actually tell if you're hitting a wall in Stardew or not because uh, like the run, the run sound still goes off. Like, you can't tell that you're actually hitting a wall. So you have to hold it down for X amount of time and then just know that you're hitting the wall based off of holding this direction. The only thing that you could tell based off of, like, movement and stop midway is if, like, you hit a different surface. So it's, like, there's stone and, uh... There's stone and, uh, dirt in the mines. It's, like, I would use the dirt and the grass and the tiles of the town to navigate a little bit. To know about where I am. To know when to turn. Yeah. Uh, about a week. Because I had to memorize uh, shop menus as well. Because I bought a lot of stuff from the traveling cart. And then I also had to figure out movement as well. Because it's like, tell me how you go from the right, like the entrance of your farm on the right side, all the way to, uh, to your house without getting, or without getting stopped by like any debris. Like, you have to have a very specific walking setup, and that had to be developed by me. I had to find a pathway to get from my farm to the traveling cart without getting stuck on anything. Which actually involves going past the traveling cart and then looping back. It was, it was the only way to normalize it. It was like a two hour run. It took me two hours to do or something. And like the the speed run itself, if you just look at seated uh crafts room, it's like 20 minutes. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I didn't see that ladder, because everything has to be dumped down. down.
an interesting watch. I'd recommend it. I think it didn't get as much recognition as it deserved because it was actually a pretty insane accomplishment, in my opinion. Video didn't do nearly as well as my others, but it could have just been like the editing style. Because it's like, I skipped a bunch of like the random parts because a lot of it was just like sleeping days and pathing. And it's like, once you see the pathing once, it's like, yeah, I, I did it like a bunch of times because the, the seated run ends up just being, you get basically uh, all the exotic items from the, from the cart. So, uh, it's, it's a lot of just checking the traveling cart, which is why you could do it blindfolded, because doing anything else would be very complicated. Uh. So, it's just a lot of cart checking. So, it ends up, I just end up skipping, like, I show how I get to the traveling cart once, and then I just don't show it again. Because it's like, how many times do you really just want to see me do the path to the traveling cart? I don't, I don't think it would be that great of a video. And then, I think I sped up, like, the entirety of the mines. Like, if you want to know why it took two hours compared to 20 minutes, I had to get 100 stone. And the only way to realistically do that is in the mines. So, I had to go into the mines floor one and then just, like, walk in a straight line, break every rock in my way. Until I ran out of energy, and then reset. And I basically manually counted the amount of rocks I got. Based off of the pickup noise. And it's like, I got extra because I knew I would miscount because you would get a few gems in there. But it's like... Yeah, it, it kind of went hard. I should probably reset. I don't have... This pace isn't great, and I don't have a, a weapon. Like, I, I guess I can, like, show you, like, what I mean by normalization. By the way, just because we're talking about it and it's kind of entertaining. I don't know. So, it's like, alright, I'm trying to get into my house and I'm walking back from my farm from here. So, how the hell do you get from my house? Because it's not like you can just hold down the direction. And then just randomly find it, right? Because you can't see. You just can't see. I did something weird. How did I do this? How did I do this? Down steps now. Did I? Wait. Now it makes a different sound. I probably just did this. No, I think I did up to the marriage corner to find the mailbox or to find the shipping bin. Because I thought I did something like this. Because you would walk up here. I remember doing something dumb. Yeah, the shipping bin, but it's like, how do you get from over there? I would have to watch the video how I did it. I think an easier example of what I can actually remember off the top of my head is how did I do, uh, how did I get to the CC? So it's like, I spawn here. How do you get from the CC without being able to see? Well, I'm pretty sure I just held down this function. I held down D until I heard grass. And then I held down A and W. No, because that would get caught there. But I hold down... I, I Actually, I probably went here. Held down A and W until I heard pathway blocks. And then I held down this direction. And went up here. And just kept holding it. No, I, okay, I'm watching the video. I'm cringe and I can't remember. I'm so cringe and I can't remember. I wanted to show this off and I literally can't show it off because I do not remember.
actual, actual cringe. It's this video, by the way, has 80k. Not gonna do this. Uh, look how zoomed in I am. When do I go to the community center? I had a bunch of like... I had a bunch of like random shit. So this is like, I heard the path tile, so I'm walking back. So again, a lot of this is like normalization. Like I know I can just hold down one key for this. Why is this like quality? This quality feels like so bad. Oh, no wonder why people didn't watch this. Like just look at the quality. What the fuck? Why is the quality so weird? <laughs> why did I do a random zoom in there? This was me lining up for the mail, I believe. Yeah, as soon as I heard the grass, I just move up, and that's how I do it. Okay, because I can't move the bed. This this is like this is kind of funny because I can't move the bed because I don't know where anything is to go to bed. The the only way to like consistently do it because if I just hold down like right and up, like I'm gonna miss it. So the easiest way to do it is hold all the way up and then just go diagonal down into bed. Ashley, so funny. Um, apparently that's how it would get out. I think I'm gonna be getting, yep, deleting the fiver. Because I heard I got a fiber, so I got to delete the menu. And now I'm checking each spot for an item. Because it appears in the right most. I know that uh, I'm picking up the fiber here to delete it. And then I had to normalize my movements. Like, you can just see, like, the weird pathing. I go over here. I shake this bush right here to know where I am. So I'm right clicking to know that I'm at this bush. I go up. I lock onto this spice berry. I pick it up. I go over here. I should pick that up because I know I'm running into it. And then we go all the way up. Until, uh, until I feel like it, basically. I'm just making sure I'm in this corner. That's why I keep running because there's no way to know if you're like frozen or not. I go all the way over here. I'm spam. I'm spamming right click to pick it up. As soon as I spam right click, I pick up, and then I know I'm about right here. I think I'm trying to walk to the right side, and then I realize I'm stuck on this. So I kind of just, like, go up. I think I free did that, which is a little weird. I knew I was, I knew I was stuck here. So I basically just need to go up to the right a little bit and then hold down because I was just trying to reset and get to the bottom because as long as I was against like as long as I'm against this bottom fence I can get out and that's all I needed to do. So it didn't really matter I just ended up getting in the right spot first try. And then I realized that and I walk over. So, where am I going now? I don't actually know. So basically, if your character stops when hitting a wall, the run would only take half as long? Uh, no, because the mines was, like, the main reason it took forever. I don't know what I'm doing here. Read the mail. Oh, yeah, this is how I would get to the... Uh... This is how I would get to the traveling cart. You can just see me, like, walking on certain areas. So now I'm holding up. Because, again, I gotta normalize the movement. So it's like, I'm running into a bunch of walls, even though it's slower, just because I need to, uh... 
make sure I get stuck in the same areas every time. So it's like, I know I'm here because I've been holding W and A the entire time. And no matter what, it leads me to that area. It's like, I go down until I hit this. And then I just slightly tap A while holding left and just checking my position by right clicking to know that there's a bush in front of me. Because depending on that, I know where I am. So as you can see, I keep going down. Yeah, we're just, I'm just double checking I'm in the right row with this bush, making sure I'm full reset, lined up properly. Go all the way over here. I'm going, oh, I'm going to the wizard. All right, this is the wizard setup. This is how I get to the wizard. I'm gonna scythe a bunch of uh, bushes right here because I know they're in my way. All the way down here. <laughs> and I gotta run all the way over. This is like the only way to normalize getting to the wizard. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, this was a crafts room. Blindfolded crafts room. And I know I'm on this bush, so I just tap down a little bit. Go all the way over. You can just see me running into the wall up and then I'm up and out. Eh, it's wild. Whatever. I kind of showed what I was talking about. Fun run. Yeah, you had to be careful because if you get lost, you're screwed. Especially in those bigger areas like I could get my way out of the bus stop if I got lost in it I can find my way out of the community center or my house If I got if I got lost in it, right Because they they are smaller areas and I just need to basically like get to a point and just reset But if I got lost in the cinder sap, I'm screwed I'm just completely screwed. Return up, what is that? Stump last on maple on the left. Time for the wood to fall. Cut the cut the stump of the last maple on the left instead of the first two. I mean, but you gotta refill your can. I mean, I guess. I don't know if it's a. Like, you walk over to refill your can. Have to wait. Yeah. I, I can... I'll agree with you, and that is faster, but that is the stump that has the lowest priority in clearing because it will screw my debris over in spring. Or in, uh, on the 13th. I rather get this stump out of the way so there's less acorns growing up near my uh towing area. I agree with you that it would save time, but lose time later. Depends on what you want to deal with. That's why I actually really hate getting triple uh grown-up trees or uh, yeah, 
uh, three of like the grown up. I think that's just that should honestly low key just be an automatic reset <laughs> because not being able to clear at least that one like on average like makes the 13th a much bigger hassle and it can make summer even worse depending on how much money you get because if you got to plant mix seeds and do the extra watering and hoeing you clear less which makes the summer day one even worse Boards needed a little bit of water. <laughs> Preferably, we remove all three, but too dumb to reset for. Let's be real. Uh, we've actually had some decent runs. Nothing out, out of the mines yet, but we had, like, one okay mines run. Uh, where we got to mines day three. I just didn't get three rain days in, uh... In, or I'm sorry, I didn't get four rain days in summer, so I ended up resetting. Because it wasn't, like, an insane run. But honestly, even though I'm like two hours in the stream and realistically haven't been out of the mine yet, I'm not actually that tilted. Kind of chilling. Like, mines hasn't felt terrible today, and that's kind of like the difference. Like, I, I said like like four times there. It hasn't, it, it's just hasn't been terrible. The mines runs that I've gotten have generally gone pretty deep, and they're just a little short. So I'm just not perma resetting the first 20 floors over and over again. That said, I got a scam drop day today, so today is probably going to be an instant reset. We love scam drops. I've also had a few monster floors that I've just reset to. Just whatever. Yeah, taking a day off to refresh is always a good idea when you get... When you're just mentally boomed. The best way to say it. If you're not enjoying it, why am I doing it? Stream's not fun if, uh... I'm not enjoying it. And I'm getting robbed with these, uh... Copper nodes, though. <laughs> Why? Oh, man. Did you... Okay, if you slowed me on that last hit, I would have been upset. Because you double slowed me there, 100%. Double slowed me. What is a scam drop? So when you check the TV, there's five. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it five. Technically, it's six because the neutral has two types. Uh, but there's five different luck levels that you can get, which is best luck, which looks like a star drop on the TV. Uh, second best luck or uh, like uh, okay luck, which is a pyramid looking shape, a golden pyramid. Then you got neutral, which is the little swirls. Uh, and then there's perfectly neutral, which is also swirls. The TV just says something uh, unique for that, which is rare to see. And then you have bad luck, which is a bat. And then you have worse luck, which is a skull. So the best luck in theory is a uh, star drop day. Uh, but for whatever reason, there's a unique phenomenon with runners where uh, star drop days tend to have worse ladders than pyramid days. It's complete and utter, like, not conjecture, uh, not gambler's fallacy, otherwise, uh, as well. Basically, it's bias that has no, like, actual root meaning, because, like, math-wise, game mechanic-wise, the star drop should consistently be better. 
But uh, sometimes star drops are just scams. And uh, we don't get good ladders. So we call it a scam drop. Confirmation bias. Yeah. Because I've had good star drop days. Don't get me wrong. I've definitely had good star drop days. But I've also had some really atrocious ones. And you tend to remember the atrocious ones more than the good ones. Superstition. Yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah, and then also it's like, it's the mines. In theory, worse luck should be terrible. But you can, you can, or like, the lower odds, or the like, the worse the luck is, the lower odds the ladder should be. I've had bad luck days with like, star drop levels of pace before. It's random. That's just RNG. It can happen. And that and that's more what uh it is. Things are just more likely to happen when you have better luck. Or at least the things that we want, which are ladders. Yeah, you can get a high roll pyramid and then a low roll star drop, and it's I basically identical pace. Uh, it's not even just that. There's only a few floors that freebies actually screw you over on, and it's mainly floor 19 and like some of the uh eights, like eight and uh. 28 can be bad. 32 can also be bad. Some of the dark floors can be bad as well. It's really just like the super large floors. Like a floor like this, 17 can also be a little disruptive. Because if I got a freebie down in this corner, I don't see it until now. And it's like how many rocks... Would you have broken when ideally i just immediately get onto the floor and just start breaking rocks and try to get the ladder at the start i'm gonna skip this to try to pick up pace we'll get the 28 we'll cart instead good luck Seal. I love when I see a mushroom, and then I'm like, oh, I shouldn't pick that up. Even though it's 75, like... At least we got a club. Even though it's 75, I'm surely not going to see another one, so it's not worth replacing anything with. And then I immediately see a second one the next floor. <laughs> it's just like, ah, oh, Why? Always punished. Uh, Valen, thank you for the t prime for four months. Bonjour. Bonjour. Forget green boots. Surely I don't get hit by a slime and complain about getting slowed because I don't pick up the green boots, which would in theory re reduce the odds of that happening. Ah, nah, I won't. I won't get slowed. It's fine. Surely I won't get slowed on this slime infested floor.
Didn't even get hit. I mean, three beyond twenty eight. Like, if I stayed at the top, I need like another crab for money, real quick. Copper's doing okay. Extra hundred G right there. Time pace is kind of a little weird just because of the amount of cave carrots I've eaten, but I have like nine parsnips, so we can sell this for money. Uh, this pace is about average. We'll see how the dark floors go. Dark floors can completely and utterly ruin this pace. Uh, but we shall see. Now it's time for four head stream. We do have a glow ring this run though, which is nice. No four head stream though. Really all about, all about that base, about that base. Copper's okay, I don't have to go that far out of my way for it. Really all about that pace, though. Eh, arguably could have gone for some of those. Oh, I canceled that early. Geodes is about average. Coal is a little low, but that is fine as well. We're doing fine on copper. Uh, money is okay. I shouldn't have eaten. I have more than enough energy right now. Sometimes I just like a little break, a little snack break. I have a good old snack break. I don't see a freebie over there because there ain't. That is the copper. That is the juice right there. That is a lot of that is a lot of juice. on copper ore. I just need the ladders in a reasonable amount of time here, and then we have a good pace. As long as we don't have to go to the bottom of this floor, we're kind of chilling. Trying to, uh, now I have to eat another parsnip. Take the extra piece. Uh, darn. Okay, freebie down here. Oh, I gotta walk a little bit. Not terrible, not great. 15 minutes is fine, I guess. We'll see how, uh, fine stay two goes. Basically. When he's good. Copper ended up fixing itself, which is nice. Only an hour behind. Bear crop, personally, I opt for speedruns. Uh, I actually think yams are underrated. Yams are pretty pog.
they're by no means the best, but in terms of like money for a for fun crop, it's actually pretty good. Basically, any crop that is not strawberries, rhubarb, uh, ancient seeds, star fruit, blueberries, melons, and pumpkins are a for fun crop in this game, in my eyes. How are you going to do that? Uh, <laughs> because in year two, you should have star fruit. So it's therefore a forefront crop. I actually do like star. I do like the red cabbage, but it's unfortunately not very available in year one. And then it just gets drastically outscaled. Gotta love getting two... Is this worth doing? Oh, apparently. Thank you, Desperate. I did not expect the letter rod to take that many hits to kill that guy with. Uh, I'm not gonna pick that up. We should have more than enough energy. I just need iron and uh, one more ladder. Cool. I'm kind of down to eat the crystal fruit purely because it would give me more energy and is closer to the amount that I need in total. Then have to waste time and eat a bunch of uh, parsnips. It's a little slow. Also, I'm not going to skip this aqua. I'm walking down for that node. Alright, this is a good day if I can get the remaining iron quickly. <laughs> I, I heard. I did not see the iron clump, but I heard you had a juicy one. Oh. I break that, please. Of course, I just need one more. Why wouldn't I need one more? Classic 69. Not bad, we got money. Be a low 21 minute. If I can take. Actually, that's a lie. It's gonna be like a mid 20. Probably could have even have kept some of that, but oh well. I 
I am very rich, by the way. Let's rain after the 13th, even though you have no direct impact on whether or not that I get the rain days after the 13th. I just like to say that because I like coping. Going a little cray cray this run. Kind of hate how I have exactly enough for thirty one strawberries. Now I actually have to uh, make sure I buy the right amount. You know, I probably wouldn't be that abhorrent to do. Uh... An extra one or two. I did have all the... Yeah, I did. Be confident. As you complain about having too much money, yeah, that's definitely what I was doing. I guess I technically was, but... Yeah... We'll find Owly soonish, hopefully. One. One more rain day, please, for the average. Like, trees are going to be quite a bit of a pain. Coming summer.
my time am I gonna miss water? Rain dice, pretty good. We take that. And then we didn't get cucked by a by that spawning in one of the bots that I need to put a sprinkler. Some arc it's like Arctic Seven, I don't know. They're honestly not the best. They're a little tight on my head. I don't have the biggest head. found a perfect pair of headphones yet for me. Also, I'm kind of a little bit more picky about my headphones because I wear glasses, so I can't have them tight. Otherwise, uh, not really fun. I do like them being wireless, though. I don't like in-the-ear headphones, even though they're probably better because I wear glasses, but I'm not a huge fan of in-the-ear. And they are definitely much nicer if you're like working outside or like doing something because they're less likely to uh, fall out. But for gaming, I prefer over there. I 
agree with that. In the air is definitely better if we're doing uh, physical activities. the wheat somewhere but oh well uh i'll do the inventory for the next day uh, i still have enough smelting time fine light mistake oh we got our two rain days already literally on the first two possible days We got all four of our rain days before the first guaranteed one. I'm kind of scared that we lost an important plant and the run's just going to die because of it. Ain't going to lie. Now I not play Stardew Valley on mobile. That just sounds terrible. Not gonna lie. Well, we did lose a blueberry, but oh well. I forgot to smelt, because I'm so used to having it all smelt. So bad, actually. So bad of me. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. I need a third furnace now, though. good at least. I don't have that to worry about. I'm gonna get rid of this before I honestly get rid of this fucking silver hot pepper. I see it, Cord. <laughs> Not gonna fucking <laughs> comment. <laughs> I can't wait to lose the fucking solar essence roll again. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna get this, it's fine. Give me 
money because I need 30 copper now. Fucking L. So I'll send a shave an L just to fucking. humiliate me. Let's go. Uh, I better get a ghost on 52 or 53. Uh, I haven't had this. I don't think I've had this before. Surely I don't lose it again. <laughs> Clueless. <laughs> Nah, below average for me. It's about an hour slower than normal. <laughs> I look for 11.20 or 11.30 finishes. <laughs> That's not normal. That's pretty normal for me. Six, six copper, ten iron, forty gold. I'll buy the copper last just in case. Yeah, I gotta do an extra furnace this run. Thank you. 
Probably gonna lose time on the split. I'm losing time. Yeah, lost time. Oh no, the five seconds. Uh, we're gonna have to give a seizure warning on the stay chat. I'll take time loss for that any day of the week. We're speedrunners, not savages. Two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two. <laughs> Say that to the cat. Um, this is really slow morning. Mainly because I couldn't animation cancel that fucking piece of wood and then I went to go get the owl. <laughs> Marnie's gonna get in the way here, isn't she? Oh, I gotta sell that last. My brain almost shut off. Not 
in the way. I thought I placed it. Why did it not let me place it? There's no point anymore. I fucking placed it. No fucking way. Damn, if the fairy was low and actually hit it, it would have been so fucking funny. <laughs> At the absolute worst spot. That's hilarious. Just reset. Nah. If I don't get rain before the 15th, I'm probably fucking done after that one. Wow. No rain. Man, look at that gold, guys. Holy shit. Oh, this run's dead, by the way. I'm just seeing if I would have got him rain and fall. I'm not continuing this. I would have. Damn, I was hoping for a rainless fall. No, oh, do not save that. Uh... Uh, it was salvageable. I would just have to yard more later. I could have gotten away with it. It just would have screwed me on a round of pumpkin or pickled pumpkins. I would have, I would have had to buy less wood in winter. It would have been how much is it? Six sixty times eight divided by ten. I would have bought like five hundred less wood in winter. So pretty bad, but whatever. Where did I click? I did I not hover over? I'm pretty sure I hovered over to the sprinkler. <laughs> I was the tile I was a tile offer. Is there something in the way there? No, I was definitely I was definitely a tile off. I don't see worms. But I'm pretty sure I was a tile off. That doesn't really look like a tile off though. No, I hovered exactly over it. Right here. Look, I'm right where it's supposed to be. Apparently, I'm just too far. I'm surprised this is too far. I'm, like, in the middle of the tile right here. I'm surprised this isn't a valid... Uh... 
That's kind of jank. That's a little jank. How focused I am. I didn't even realize it. I didn't even realize it. Out of comedy. Uh... I don't really want to run more. But I feel like it's a little early to end stream. Uh, somewhere, yeah. Yeah, we're kind of chilling off here, chat. I don't really want to do more runs. I've had uh, enough good minds run, so we're just going to chill and play Gitomo Kart a little bit. Playing main game is what Twitch chat likes to call it, because I used to play this a lot more. That I actually changed my title. Well, I mean, you spelt it wrong anyways. I oh, know you didn't. That's set title. I don't think that's the command, though. Yeah, I never changed the title for this anyways. Fuck you. I wanted the cherry. I should have bounced off that bubble. I just didn't think I would get the cherry if I hit that bubble and didn't go low. So YouTube chat, if you're not used to this, like, basically, if I feel like I haven't streamed long enough and I want to just go a little bit longer, but I want to shut off my brain, I kind of just play Gino Kart. So you see this occasionally. I also occasionally do what I call real talk streams, where I kind of just talk about things going on, plans for the future, uh, ideas, just random things, and I just generally answer questions in chat about almost anything. And I played Junimo Kart during it. President died there. What are hotkeys? Uh, keys to fast do like buttons. So I'm assuming you do scroll wheel to go through your hot bar worth of items. I press one through like five to select my tools or like item spots one to five. I will generally also just click on the rest. You can press F to skip cutscenes instead of skipping the skip cutscene button at the very bottom. Uh, you can press E to in some menus to make items instantly go to the first available slot. Uh, you can hold down shift to buy five items at a time. Instead of just buying one, you can hold shift control to buy 25 items at a time. Those are what we call hotkeys. 
You can press J to open up your journal. You can press M to open up map. Everything. Or that orange, I think, is impossible, unfortunately. Uh, 5,700-ish. That grip. Oh, well. No more runs. Uh, I was doing runs for basically the last, uh... Uh, two hours or so. I don't really want to start another one, so I'm kind of just chilling playing Dynamo Kart. Uh, no, it's Y for accepting, uh, Xboxes. It's Y to accept, escape, to decline, generally. But yes, that works, too. My dad. I got scared because of that boulder. I didn't jump long enough. Oh no. E. We're winding down. You just like to hear Genomo Kart sounds and music. This is a place to chill. It's also a good time to just ask any question that you want me to answer because this is generally when I do that. These segments generally become a uh, Q&A. generally open about answering most things. Obviously, I'm not going to dox myself, but... What am I doing? Just dance? That's a good question. What's the date? That cherry. Okay. Let's just say before the 19th. Yeah, hopefully. Oh uh, yeah, it's a punishment. I missed a video upload. By like two days. I'm live on Twitch. And YouTube. Sorry to break it to you, but I would stream on Twitch over YouTube if I only had to stream on one. But you don't jump from the top stuff. Have you ever done a homework stream? Nope. Ever done a homework stream? Probably should have. It would have made me do more of it. But I did not. What days will I be streaming the remainder of the week? Probably stream tomorrow. One of the Saturday or Sunday. Really it. I generally take one of the weekend days off. That's generally how I work. Sometimes I take two. What are you planning to do for 1.6? I plan on doing a perfection run as soon as it drops. That would be my, like, excuse to play quote-unquote casually. I'll probably play on the new farm over playing on the forest map just to play on the new farm, right? I'll do, like, the new content. That sucks. 
Will I ever do an FPS stream? I technically did. I won a... I won money in a Ludwig Fortnite tournament. I technically am a pro FPS player because I have cash earnings. <laughs> oh no. I mean, it's not a first person shooter necessarily, but I played Lethal for a little bit. It's first person and it has a shotgun in it. Bro, yeah. To be fair, there were semi pros in that lobby. Not pro players, but semi. No. I don't think we'll get any, like, major new areas. I don't think 1.6 is gonna allow us to go to, like, Zuzu City or some shit. I've never played PUBG. I think the only true Battle Royale I've ever played is Fortnite. I've never played the COD, War Warzone, I've never played Apex, never played PUBG. I mean, I played Stardew ba Battle Royale, but I didn't, I, like, the only, like, shooter one I've played is Fortnite. I mean, <laughs> for whatever reason, a lot of the Stardew speeder speedrunners have overlap with playing League over FPSs. Because Jess got, like, a crew of us Stardew speedrunners to fucking play uh, League on her birthday. Oh, that was a dumb bubble. I have much more overlap with League. There's also a lot of Stardew runners who get, uh, motion sickness easily. So they don't really like to play, uh, FPSs is, like, the hard part. I guess I would be down to do Overwatch if you get a crew. I don't know if I'd stream it, but I'd play it. Shouldn't it be that bad to install. I guess the more annoying... No, no, it's on Steam now. I was about to say, the annoying part is, is I would have to install Battle.net, and I don't really want to do that, but it's on Steam now, so it wouldn't be atrocious. Hello. Title's misleading right now. I know, guys. I was doing community center runs early, but the runs kind of died, and I don't feel like, uh... I don't feel like starting another run, so... Just chilling with Junimo Kart doing Q&A. You still have to get battled that night. Fuck. You know, finally play CS2. I play it when Joe invites me, but you don't play with other people, Blake. You play with fucking randos. That's fucking lame. I don't play with flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that I was gonna take it out. I'm gonna do more than just the community center blind. I'm gonna do perfection. 
as soon as it comes out. Well, I mean, with this little, or, well, I mean, whatever info that I have, I'll probably glance at the patch notes at the very least. more dst1 we did that once with our group and then we never played it again which was kind of funny What is DST? Don't starve together. Fuck, I jumped too high. Man, I haven't even looped yet. What is wrong with me? Like, normally I've looped once by now. DST stands for don't starve together in the gaming world instead of daylight savings or whatever. Obviously, you need more main game streams, yeah. I'm gonna go until I loop and then probably call it. Loop this, yeah, yeah, yeah. The CC warm up? No, I did my CC runs today. I got like basically two hours, 40 minutes worth of runs done, and then uh, I didn't really want to start another one, but I didn't feel like stream was long enough, so I'm kind of just doing a Q&A while trying to loop in Junimo Kart. Any games I want to speed run in the future, other than Haunted Chocolatier, not on the radar, I would say. At least none on stream that I know of. The only one that I might do off stream is, funny enough, Starbound. Bro, why did I click there? Uh. I don't think I'll do that anytime soon. Stardew update. The Starbound run isn't as interesting as you think it is. It's more just... I've held, I've held that record for a long time and somebody recently took it back from me. So I feel like... I like semi I semi want to take it back just because I had it but at the same time do I really want to play it every time that I play starbound and spear on it I end up just going like why am I playing this I'd rather just play terraria it's a better game <laughs> you know What does looping in Juno Kart mean? In Endless, uh, if you complete all the stages, it puts you back at the start, but at a fa well, I mean, your speed's not faster. Your speed increases every time you get to Ghost. So you continue with the speed that you had. So basically, every time you get to Ghost, you, uh, you, you get increased move speed. So looping is basically referring to getting through all the levels uh, on Endless without dying. I know, right? I mean, it was originally supposed to be a quality of life and modding update, and then CA is just like, fuck it. We ball. And just added everything that he wanted to. In the classic CA move.
I mean, he's got a team, so makes sense. It's easier for him to add more stuff. Uh, I should have jumped a hair earlier. Could have gotten that, actually. How did I... M wow. Okay. Okay. Sure, I, th sure I missed that. That is okay. My fault. My bad. My bad. Oopsies. I mean, CA really doesn't care about money anymore. He just does it for his pure enjoyment at this point. Pure passion. Like, CA realistically has, like, gener generational wealth if he wanted it. Right? So it's like, he's fine. So anything else he does is literally just because he enjoys his community. He just wants to give them more shit. Have you ever run the forest? Uh, I've seen it played by friends and it doesn't look interesting. I'd rather just play like Valheim, but Valheim kind of meh. It looked promising, and then they kind of just, like, fell flat on the development. How did- how did- why did that bubble go there? I'm not in school now. I tried Core Keeper? Yeah. Seth, when are you beating the fucking hard, hard core? And that's the other game when somebody when you asked if I planned on speedrunning any other game the only other game that I would possibly speedrun is core keeper I don't know Oh wait I need four tiles to slip Fairly far right now, Pog. Find it difficult ever playing this game casually? Oh, I can't play Stardew casually anymore. I would never play Stardew Valley casually anymore. The most casual you'll ever see me get playing Stardew Valley is when I do perfection speedruns. No, I'm doing a perfection speedrun as soon as 1.6 drops. That's the most casual you'll ever get to me. I find the game rather boring when played slow. And to be honest, even if I were to play quote unquote slowly and casually, to 99% of the players, it would not be considered casual. And that's just because 
of the amount of time I have put into this game and just everything that I do, it's just naturally, like, optimized to a degree. So I would have to purposely limit myself, which is just not a fun thing. Like, not a fun thing to do unless if you're doing a challenge. And if you're doing a challenge, I feel like people would not consider that being played casually. <laughs> right? Like, me casually playing would still have Starfruit in Summer. Who who thinks that's casual here? Like, just casually having Starfruit in Summer and being at the bottom of the mines on, like, the middle of spring. Late spring. That's more of what I'm saying. But most people wouldn't consider that casual is, like, the argument here. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't play mods on Stardew. I find... <laughs> I say that as a person who's developed uh, the roguelike mod. But unless if the mod changes like the core fundamental gameplay where it's really not stardew anymore i don't think the mod is interesting like if i'm gonna mod stardew i don't want it to be stardew anymore i just want to use it as a base which is why the roguelike is like fine the battle royale is fine like the mini game like ones are fine but i would never play stardew valley expanded i would never play the rich side mod they don't have any interest they they would have no interest in me playing them Lethal Stardew when. <laughs> yeah. The Archipelago mod is very close to that, too. I will admit, yes. The Archipelago mod is very similar to uh, that. And it is a fine mod, but yeah. 1.6 is around the corner. I don't really want to start that. Played it with Joe, but then we kind of just stopped playing it for various reasons. Play the Stardew mod on Minecraft. Is there actually? Uh, I got. I mean, of course, there's a Stardew mod on Minecraft. Why wouldn't there be? I might try the Archipelago mod again on 1.6, but. I use my mouse. I use left click. Our score sucks. I've missed so many grapes, but I just want to loop. I'm still missing all the fruit. I had to bounce off that rock to be able to make that jump because of the timing. That's so unfortunate. Hello. E. 
the expanded mod does add all that like new characters new story but i don't really care about story not written by ca and i don't really care about characters not written by ca that's more like my stance i don't really care to see the game envisioned by somebody other than ca be fair i don't even care about the characters for ca or <laughs> ca characters a lot in the first place as well but i just don't care about seeing the game in a different vision other than like ca and that's why i said like the mods that change the fundamentals where it's not really stardew anymore are the ones that i enjoy more because i'm not playing stardew at that point i'm playing i'm playing for the stardew mechanics that i like but it's a different game with a different feeling. Yeah. That's basically it. It's not my cup of tea. Not everybody's going to have the same preferences. A lot of people here love coffee, and I don't drink coffee whatsoever. I don't like coffee. That's my preference, you know? I understand people who need coffee to function and all that shit, but I do not, so I don't do it. I don't really drink anything but water and Sprite, to be quite honest. <laughs> oh, and occasionally lemonade if I go out to eat. Family, I'll have lemonade. You weren't a streamer, what do I do? Uh, a bum, because I really don't have any life skills. Still honestly a bum in a lot of aspects. I could have probably have just skipped. Why am I dying to the lava level of all things? The lava level is like easy. I just keep fucking dying to these goddamn rocks on the lava levels. Let me out. Dedication is a skill. I'm very only dedicated to a few things and none of them are very useful in life because <laughs> being like being dedicated to video games is why I'm a streamer. So if I wasn't dedicated to video games, I wouldn't be dedicated at all because I'm not really dedicated to anything else. Yeah, that's why I said if I'm not a streamer, I don't really know what I would be. I'm not very... Like, I'm arguably not even that good at being a streamer. In a lot of ways. I'm very slow at making YouTube videos. I stream at... Vi well, I mean, the, the good... The only, like, good thing about my streaming habits is the time that I stream at. The time that I stream at hits basically all the English-speaking time zones to a degree. So I... I get the like most amount of viewers I possibly can in that regard. And I'm allowed to do that because uh, this is my job and <laughs> I don't have to worry about working a full-time job for those times. I'm not like, I'm not saying in the regards that I'm not a good streamer and like, I'm not entertaining and I don't have people watching me. I'm more saying like, if I like, I said this before and it may be arrogant 
to a degree. But if I capitalize on the popularity of 1.5 and speedrunning when it was at its height, like right after the Stardew Valley Cup and I posted that first video, if I capitalized on that and basically posted a video every other day or a video like every week, I would probably be arguably like as big as small ants. Like maybe arrogant, maybe to a less degree, but it's like realistically Stardew has that player base and has that reach. Look what it did for Dangerously Funny. Like if I had that dedication, I could have done that, but I don't. And I know I don't. I'm just not that type of person. And that's like why I say I'm like not necessarily cut out for content creation, but it's realistically the only thing that I can do in a lot of ways. Skill issue, it really is. And I can fully admit that. You can say hire an editor, but editors are much more expensive than you think, and I would be generally losing money at the start. And people like Small Ant, who like made it, who made it big, like put in the work early themselves, and then it became easier later. You just gotta put the work in early, and I've never done that. Why is there so many mushrooms? I know people are going to, like, backseat and tell me what I should have done. And I'm well aware of what I should have done. But in reality, it just didn't happen. Because of who I am. And I know who I am because of it. I think it's necessarily easy for, uh, at the time, a 19-year-old kid to... A 19-year-old socially anxious, socially awkward, and not understanding of the business world to go out, find somebody... Holy shit, what was that jump? Uh, find somebody who is willing to edit their fucking Stardew Valley videos... Uh, on a whim. And just, like, at a reasonable price and, like, continue doing that. Not to mention having the networking skills to be able to get somebody and hire somebody and understand those business practices. To do that. No. Very few people have those skills or do that properly. That's why there's very few very successful content creators. And the people who did get successful did all the editing, all the work themselves at the very start and er, persevered. Takes a very specific personality to be able to do that. Oh, so I finally looped <laughs> after this huge rant. Again. A lot of this can be also considered excuses, obviously. And yes, I would argue some of them very much are. And I could have done things better, and I know I could have done things better. Fine. President died of that. That's hopefully the goal. I'm trying to upload more this year. One one video every about 20 days. I'm so fucking fast. Uh, I jumped early. No. Oh, well. <laughs> Bro, the ghost and the fucking alleges got me there. That was a fun run. Ooh, now that I played GMO Kart for fucking 30 minutes and looped once, I am gonna call it a stream after that rant. 
I love DF when he did Stardew Valley content. Not too crazy about his variety mobile type stuff, but he paid the foundation. Yeah. Forever. Yeah, I mean, I could have done so many things better, but yo is. Content creating does involve luck. It really does. But a lot of the luck comes down to putting yourself in the right spot and capitalizing off of uh, whatever luck you're given. Like, people who are making good content will be discovered and will naturally be found. People who are not will not. How's the doggo? He is a clean sun baby. He got a tubby yesterday and just laid in a sun puddle to dry off the entire day. The baby boy. I'm not going to go pick him up. He is probably sleeping on the couch. I'm going to piece. I need a break. E. Could have done better. Could have done worse as well. You are where I'm at. Yeah. I'm like slowly trying to improve. Again, I'm trying to make uh, a video every 20 days uh, this year, which is better than uh, basically a video a month last year. By slightly. I think it's like 18 videos is the goal. I forgot what I said. Uh, yeah, anyways. YouTube chat, I appreciate you guys uh, listening to my bullshit, listening to me just talk and play Junimo Kart and a few CC runs, but you will be off first so I can go raid on Twitch. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I should be on around tomorrow about the same time doing more community center runs, ideally. We'll see if I do something else, though. That's it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and just take care. Later. Peace. What about YouTube? All right. Let's see who's on Twitch. Who is streaming on Twitch? RC is. Adamos is. Was I to RC? It's been a hot minute. Still a favorite kid. Yeah. I don't know if he just got a raid or not, but. Thing. Uh, yeah. That's it. I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys again dealing with my shit. I know today was a little bit of a rant towards the end of the stream, but after that sprinkler mess up uh happens. That said, I'll be back on tomorrow. I'll probably be doing more runs. So, hope to see you guys again there. Hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and just take care. Later. Peace.